Hey, my friends, Tony back again, trying to help you reclaim your genius, reclaim your brilliance. I've shared on another segment, I'll share it again, the famous quote by Buckminster Fuller, that all children are born geniuses. 9,999 out of every 10,000 are swiftly, inadvertently de-geniusized by adults. And so what am I doing to reclaim my brilliance? What am I doing to reclaim my genius? And one of the things that I love is watching children and how they respond to different things in life. And, and children will respond to words. And you do the same thing. And here's something very fascinating. I want you to imagine that you're at home with a child and you've got a five-year-old and, and he's filled his glass of, of milk to the brim and taking that glass past you. What is the thing that you say to that five-year-old child? If you're like most parents, it's don't spill your milk instead of be very careful with your milk. Do you see the differences? Do you see the difference between don't and you're telling them exactly what you don't want them to do? So guess where their brain focuses on? And it does it subconsciously and then their behavior, guess what? It matches and it does exactly the thing that you don't want them to do. You know, my son, my six-year-old, he jumps on the couch a lot. And I got to catch myself all the time because I go down there and say, Son, don't jump on the couch instead of, Son, go outside and play. The couch is for sitting, not jumping. And uh, I, I don't do that. I go to the don'ts. I, I love sports. Oh, I'm a sports fanatic. And I love watching my 10-year-old play sports. But it drives me insane watching the coaching of it. Why? Because coaches are trained to pl tell players what they don't want them to do. Don't tackle that way. Don't run that way. Don't play that way. Instead of teaching the child, here's what I want you to do. Part of reclaiming your brilliance is focusing on the things that you want instead of the things you don't want. Because as a child, we get programmed to then focus on all the things we don't want. And then we, we expand upon those things. We allow those things to flourish in our imagination. And, and, and what that is, is it's called a worst case scenario. And we end up projecting this worst case scenario and thinking about this worst case scenario and feeling this worst case scenario and then our behavior matches and we perform the thing that we don't want. So what do you want? Focus on that and stop focusing on what you don't want. I'll share with you one last example of this. As a leader in, in uh, a, a religious uh sector there, I had the opportunity to bring in some people and help coach them, help help them with some of their struggles and challenges. And one of the challenges in today for a lot of people was pornography and being addicted to pornography. And they would come in and say, Tony, I'm addicted to pornography. And I would say this, I don't ever want you to say the word pornography again, because that's not who you are. And every time you say the word pornography, guess what? jumps up onto the brain. And then when that jumps onto the brain, guess what? You start to feel, you start to feel the shame, you start to feel all those things, and then boom, you jump right back into it. Instead of, I would say, now what do you want? See, this is what you don't want. You keep focusing on that. What do you want? Well, I want to be a faithful spouse. I, I want to be clean and I want to be, I want to feel like I have my life back. Let's focus on that then, not on what you don't want. So I want you to think of something that maybe you're struggling with. And I want you to focus not on what you're struggling with, but what life would be like without the struggle in your life. Focus on what you do want and stop focusing on what you don't.